Now, this Friday, the bodies of six French humanitarian workers killed in Niger have been transported back to France, with Prime Minister Jean Castex due to lead a national tribute later in the day. Now, these are live images coming from that ceremony. According to intelligence officials here in Paris, the individuals were likely the victims of a premeditated attack targeting Westerners. Now, no one has yet claimed responsibility for that onslaught. However, the issue has raised fresh questions about a massive troop deployment aimed at bolstering security in the Sahel region. Now, for more on that story, I'd like to cross to France 24's Erin Ogunkaya. Erin, thank you so much for being with us. What can we expect uh, from that ceremony this Friday? Hi, Sanam. Uh, like you said, exactly, it's um, being held, being presided over, if you will, by the Prime Minister, Jean Castex, and not by President Emmanuel Macron. Uh, now, as you mentioned as well, the ceremony being held on the occasion of the repatriation of the six bodies of the French victims earlier at Orly Airport, south of Paris, this afternoon. Uh, there's not much um, uh, information about the ceremony because the families wanted it to be as private as possible. Uh, so unlike ceremonies we've seen in the past uh, for French citizens or military uh, personnel that were killed in the region. This time, uh, the ceremony is completely closed to the public. Uh, only French officials will be public, and the families, of course. Now, Erin, we know that the four women and two men were killed on Sunday with a Nigerian guide and driver, of course. What else do we know about the attack itself? Uh, so we know that the attack itself uh, took place at a reserve for the, the last place that houses uh, wild populations of West African giraffes. Uh, now, unlike much of the rest of the country, Niger, this place, Kore, uh, was known to be safe. It's the place that humanitarian workers, expats, and locals alike uh, went to see uh, these the last population of these West African giraffes. Uh, the, the park has not seen any security issues or attacks since it opened a couple of decades ago. Uh, so a place that is supposed to be safe. And then, of course, uh, we know that the victims were all humanitarian, professional humanitarian workers that had taken all of the precautions necessary, respected the security protocol in place uh, 72, 72 hours in advance before visiting the park. Um, so we know that there, there was no, uh, there were no abuses, if you will, uh, on the part of the, of the victims. Uh, that said, about the attack itself, uh, we know that there were likely four attackers. The attack, as you mentioned earlier, was premeditated, uh, four attackers on motorcycle. As for now, uh, 11 French uh, investigators have gone to Niger earlier this week to accompany uh, the Nigerian investigators and